Good morning, guys. All right, so I just did a video on Andrea and the Survivors Club, which seems to be just a little insane. Um, but now moving on, we do have a new event out, and I just want to cover that quickly. So they have these new, they call them platinum medals. You have one, two, and three. So number one, you need 15,004, and it will get you an ascendable Eric. Um, number two, you need 10,004, and we'll get you a vet. That kind of goes backwards for me, I'm not going to lie. Um, a vet is an amazing character, and people who have her in the te her team, their team, is usually damn near impossible to kill her. Even with an, in, put an absolute zero defense in there, a shield, a revive, even another HP or a couple of them, and you're really struggling. So to need 15,000 for Eric, um, which I haven't even read his things yet. So, I mean, I guess I may be talking too quick. So he does revive, which is awesome. Um, revive one teammate with 20% of their max HP. 25% is not epic awesome, but it is something. All teammates get 40% defense for three turns. That's pretty damn good. Regain up to 25% of their max HP for two turns. So all teammates will get 50% of their HP. Um, the revived character will get 75% of their HP and recover from attack penalties. So like attack down. Then up to two, mates re team, two teammates recover from stun and heal reduction. The heal reduction is when a character puts it on you um, and they, they stop you from being able to heal. So either some of them do 100%, I've seen 50%, and that's the only two that I've seen. So they don't allow your team members to heal. So the active skill is good. Number of uses is awesome, five, and goes off every three turns. So that can be uh, extremely helpful. His leader skill is for blue and green. Uh, um, all blue and green teammates get 40% HP and 40% defense. So he would be a really good blue and green um, defense team leader for sure. So like your raid team, he would be good for that. Um, your raid defense team. He's pretty damn good. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of surprised. For those that already have him, you guys have to be jumping up and down. So that would be why. Yvette is very, very good as well. It's She doesn't have a leadership skill. Um, she gets up to three teammates, gain focus, and regain 40% of their ma max HP for three turns. So that's 40, 40, and 40. You're overhealing them at that point. Um, and those teammates also gain 20% HP. So they heal for three turns and get 20% HP on top of it. You're going to fully max out their health and it's three teammates. So that's a lot. You know, we only have five. So you're hitting three of your teammates. If it even came down to you, um, having just her and two other members down, it would be Real hard to put them down with that. Then um, up to three teammates recover from impair. That can be really handy, especially since a lot of people's weapons have impair on them now, especially when it comes to the blue teams. And clearly yellow kills blue. So she to me is still, she's still to me the one I want the most. Then you have, and you can go down, and I don't know if they're going to give the option, we'll see, but doubtful. So for 8,000, um, you can get Jeremiah. He's got a uh, defensive reversal, deals 300% damage to one enemy and up to three enemies, get negative 70% defense for two turns. Up to two, three teammates get 70% defense for two turns. Um, he has the outlast. When the specialist is defeated, their death is delayed for one turn during which they may take an action. So when you kill him, he gets a second attack, kind of like, uh, what is that? One of my first five star has it, Par a parting shot, kind of like that. So if his AR is going to go off 
it can with the outlast. I, I kind of find it odd. Um, that they allow, that they made it this way. Maybe with parting shot, your AR, I don't think can go off. Not that I remember that it can. With Outlast, it can go off. I've seen it happen. So maybe that's the biggest difference there is with parting shot, it can't, no AR, just another hit. But with um, Outlast, your AR can go off and be your, your last hit and that can cause some serious damage. Um, up to three for active skill up to three teammates recover from confuse that can be extremely helpful there's a lot of confuse out there i just got stuck in a loop and nobody was dying we just timed each other out and one of it was this uh violet a green violet i haven't seen before and it was in the whispers team so to them i'm sorry guys i don't see who it was but amazing team they had up and uh and this girl did Confuse, and she also healed and did additional HP. She's a badass and literally just timed out over and over and over again. I tried it a couple different ways. I still couldn't put them down. So I was quite uh, quite impressed for, with her. But the Confuse didn't help. It actually, you know, obviously it hurts you more. So when I had those teammates Confused, they weren't putting in the maximum amount of damage that they could be. To have that recovered is definitely um, in your favor. He is the cheapest. I was gonna. I would say that they're going to say, "Well, this is going to go from you know the best to the worst, um, depending on how many there are." So Eric is very, very, very good, and I could use a really, really good blue. Um, that area I'm struggling in, that I've wanted for a very, very long time and should fit in really, really well. Also, she is, uh, sorry, dog. Anyways, my dog was doing something odd. When this character is defeated, all of the character's surviving teammates will immediately receive 50% of their max AP. So then if you actually kill her, then 50% of the max AP will go to the rest of the teammates left over. So that's extremely helpful as well. It's just, you know, like I said, it's, it's a balancing who's going to be the best for your team. Now, seeing that it's 15,000, 10,000, and 8,000, that's a lot. And when I say that's a lot, let's go over to the board over here so we have what they gave us what 27 days on this yeah 27 days so we have two days of a level up and it is one hell of a fight already and the reason why is because they have these available so you can get them but you need to fight hard so 10,000 for first place all right so if you got 10,000 then you would be able to come over here and get Yvette or you would be able to get Jeremiah. You would still need 5,000 more to get Eric. So if they keep going on that path, but again, if you go back and you look, anything under first place is only half of what you need for a vet, a third of what you need for Eric, and I don't know the math on that, 5,000 out of 8,000. You know, not enough to get the other one. And then as you go down, even if you are in the top 50, you're only getting a 1,000. So say you do the top 50 over and over and over again, you're going to need to do 10 of those, 15 of those to get one of that are the badass ones. So hopefully um, there's another way to get them, that they give us another way, maybe a faction event where there's more given out. Um or they start dropping somewhere because so far they're not dropping anywhere. So that's definitely the issue. Now, to get first place, we all know you're going to need to put up a shit ton of points. No matter what it is, it's not impossible. It's definitely doable. But uh, you'll have to be able to either be highly stocked or be um, willing to spend a lot. And then, honestly, I don't see what the point is. If you're going to spend, you might as well just spend it on pulls until you get who you want. I think you would probably spend less money. So 
right now we're we have days to go, two days to be exact, and number one is already at three million eight hundred and seventy thousand. So with the days to come, that's only going to go higher and higher and higher. So we shall see where that goes from there. And that's about it, you guys. I mean, honestly, I, I can see where you would be able to get all three of them, that they're going to make it possible. Um, but the possibility is you spend a shit ton to get all three and play like a maniac for every single event. It, you know, history shown us now they're doing level ups every other damn day. Sometimes every day, the second one stops an hour later, another one pops up. Level ups are what we're getting more than anything else. And so um, there's a benefit to that. People will either run out of resources or get what they wanted already and stop spending, giving it a more of an option at the end. So for those that don't spend or don't play like absolute fanatics, I wouldn't worry too much. 27 days is a long time to gather it up. Like I said, even if you place in the top 100, you're going to get to a point um, where you get enough to at least get one of the characters. If you play hardcore, you'll be able to get all three. So, all right, guys, that's it on this one. Just want to go over it briefly with you. Again, it's, you know, the Platinum Metal Collection going on. Um, there's only eight hours left on the Winter Collection. Make sure that you collect where you want to collect and need to collect and all that happy stuff. And uh, don't let any of those sweaters go to waste. I hope you guys had a great holiday and Happy New Year. Um, 2018 was absolute hell on earth, so hopefully 2019 will be better. Um, don't forget, like, subscribe, and share. Please, guys, I'm so close. We need it. I need to hit a 1,000. Help me get there. Hit that subscribe button. If you'd like, you can hit the alert button right next to it after you do, and then you'll get alerted whenever I up, um, upload a video. So, as always, any com comments, questions, or concerns, I respond to every single one as quickly as possible. So, if you have them, please don't hesitate. Um, like, share subscribe. Thanks guys.